Before we begin this review, I would like to offer special thanks to these people. Um, in particular, Chroma Slip, Fop Doodle, Captain, and Stargazer. If you want to get on this list of wonderful, wonderful people, there's a link to Patreon in the description below. It only takes a dollar to become cannon fodder, or if you want to become one of our first in and get to see previews of all of my content before it comes out, it's three bucks. And they basically have kept me going and keep this channel going. So please do go have a look, and uh, hopefully you'll become a new supporter. Okay, this is not ideal. Um, camera's packed, so I can't exactly uh, use it. You also notice the room's kind of echoey, because it's mostly empty. I, do not I meant to record these this afternoon before Bob got home so that they would actually not have echoey room and the camera wouldn't be gone, but oh well. Uh, I have a few game reviews I would like to get out while I am moving. Some of these are months old that should have been done sooner, but you know, moving is basically a multi-month process and has delayed tons of things. In the meantime, Halo Master Chief Collection. I'm not so much hunting a spark. How do you keep fucking this up? Halo One? No, good, good job. Like ten out of ten. Reach in Halo 2? How do you keep fucking this up? How? How do you keep screwing this? Let's begin. Halo Reach. Sounds are still buggy. Six months later. The guns sound constantly muffled. Talking gets muffled randomly. Uh... Enemy sounds are sometimes coming from the wrong character type. I had a freaking brute in Halo Reach look at me and go, what, what, what? And I'm like, excuse you? Just, just, no. They still haven't fixed that. It's been six months. Halo 1, they didn't really have anything to do. There was already a functional port of Halo 1 Remastered, all they had to do was just make it work on updated systems, and they added nothing to it. Pay attention, I'm only going if you bought one. Halo 1 Remastered, there is no point in having bought the Master Chief Collection for Halo 1. Because Halo 1 Combat Evolved 10th Anniversary Edition is basically what you're buying. There's no update to the graphics, there's no update to the... There's nothing. They added nothing to it. They did nothing meaningful. It, it's just Halo Combat Evolved. Anniversary Edition. Which, neat. Glad to see you didn't screw it up at least, but... I mean, the matchmaking works, but... The co-op is just broken. It's an issue that 343 doesn't seem to understand that one of the core mechanics of all the Halo games is campaign co-op. This is like the thing that people will put the most time into, believe it or not. There is a small contingent of like 20 to 30 percent who will put a ton of time into the multiplayer in the PvP aspect. That's fair. The vast majority of us just want to play the campaign with our friends over and over again. Like we did in the old days. And that's just been ignored. Absolutely, tragically ignored. Almost unforgivably. The peer-to-peer -peer connection doesn't always work. Uh, it's, Nobody it's a clusterfuck, um, of dis, of desyncs and people not syncing up properly, and knowing that Halo Reach had four-player cooperative play, and this Halo Reach has four-player cooperative play, but only if you're willing to sit there with the sync, desync, uh, disconnect, and just general lag, 
over and over and over again. My friends and I stopped playing it in a week. I stopped playing it on stream in two hours. It's just that difficult to deal with. And now we have Halo 2. Halo 2, which came out on May 12th. I'm sorry. I want to be a completely positive review, and I can't. Halo 2 in the Master Chief Collection is awful. For a start, they have retconned in Spartan Luck. The community as a whole rejected him and Halo 5. 343 being like, we weren't aware Master Chief was the was the lead character of Halo. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, they've, they've, they've retconned in Master Spartan Lock. Basically having the Arbiter tell Halo 2's story to Spartan Lock. As the opening cutscene now. I'm not kidding. That's there. Second, uh... The Halo 2 cooperative campaign is broken. Just completely broken. Um, it desyncs constantly. You get disconnects every level transition. You will be disconnected from the person you're playing with. Over and over and over again. Random lag spikes for no reason. Uh, the aim assist sometimes makes you spin around and shoot in completely the wrong direction. The aim assist also locks onto your friend who you're playing with. I had high hopes for this. I had they they kept promising they were going to redo it, they were going to do it right, and they weren't going to screw this up. Three four three, you done fucked this. I'm not even being nice about it. You done fucked this. The multiplayer works as intended. The campaign and cooperative campaign are a mess between the retcon of the story and the network error issues that plague it. I wanted to play the cooperative campaign with my friends on Legendary because let's be entirely honest, PvP is a challenge. Legendary Halo 2 campaign is just a kick to the head that you can't let it have because it won't let up. On top of that, they have retconned how the Legendary campaign works. When playing on Legendary for Halo 2, they automatically turn on the Iron Skull. Those of you who don't know what this is, the Iron Skull basically makes it where if you die, you respawn at the last checkpoint. This includes your partner. So if someone dies, you automatically are kicked back to the last checkpoint. There is no turning this off. The Marine's AI has been edited to not keep pace with you. What this meant for me and my friend was I can't believe I'm saying this the second level of the game outskirts everybody remember the highway tunnel that you drive through we had to walk the whole tunnel Because the Marines don't keep pace with Master Chief, they also will just run off way ahead and die repeatedly, making them the worst AI allies I've ever had in the last 10 years. 
That's not an exaggeration. I went checking to figure out what the worst AI allies I had was. And you know what came up the last time they tried to put Halo 2 on the PC? The last time they tried to remaster this. Okay. The only other time the AI has ever been this bad in a AAA game, I was Grand Theft Auto 3. Yeah. Yeah. Lastly, the new graphics have just ruined certain segments of the game. Segments where you're looking down and you're supposed to see fog, you instead see the flood running around under you. And certain cutscenes have been clearly edited. Lastly, the cutscenes, the uh, the elites just kind of look like uh, amorphous blobs given humanoid form. I'm being entirely honest. Like I legitimately prefer the the classic graphics whenever the elites are in the cutscenes, especially when the arbiter's not wearing his armor. It it just looks awful. But this is a buggy, unforgivable state that they have released it in. The third one that they have released it in a buggy, unforgivable state. If I could get my money back, I would get my money back. This is the last negative review while I'm on travel. So, this has been a review done quick. I am in the middle of moving. It's a 10-day drive, and I wanted to make sure you guys had some content. I'm going to try to stream from hotel rooms. No promises, but we'll see what the PS4 can manage to do. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed this, and I hope to see you all next time uh, on my channel i hit the like button leave some comments i'll get to the comments as soon as i get to my hotel room for the night in the meantime i'm driving and i will see all of you guys as soon as i can good night everyone